What's up, folks? Welcome back to another episode here at G Outdoors. Welcome back, guys. We're outdoors. Up on north, the water. folks. We're going to do a quick video for you, folks. Bought a bunch of these minnow traps, these crayfish minnow traps from Amazon. Amazon. So we're going to see, do they work? Let us know down below. Do you guys use these? Any tips for these? We're going to show you how to rig it up, and we're going to see if we can catch some crawfish or some minnows. Uh, here, it's illegal to use minnows as bait, but if you guys live where you uh, live, it'll definitely work. <laughs> it'll probably work. So we're going to set this up pretty quick for you, folks. See if Amazon traps actually work. So we're going to show you quickly how to install it it's pretty simple you just go opposite where the prong is you see there's a prong on both sides you just boom boom close it up and then on the other side you just line up the holes and then it comes actually with a hook i just bought some quick rope but as you can see you just press down right over here and it unlatches so you just pop those in close her on up and you're good to go and then you can tie the rope to a tree or a rock whatever kind Definitely of structure want to you tie have it to something yeah you don't want it to go so what we're gonna do is well actually the point of this is the fish come in to the narrow spot and hopefully they stay in and they can't get back out that's the whole point of these traps so we have four traps the fourth one we're gonna keep to the side because we're actually going trout fishing for another video so definitely stay tuned for that but we're gonna use the guts on the fourth one to see if the guts will attract more crayfish and minnows so one trap we're gonna have just bread one we're gonna have just hot dogs and another one's gonna be mixed hot dog and bread we're gonna let it out all day see what we get so for the bread we're gonna take a couple pieces and i think they recommend squishing it so it stays firm and it doesn't float to the top because then the fish could come to the top and eat it without going in the trap so you want them to get in the trap so we're gonna squish him into little piles little bibets here so this one will be just bread six let's go half a dozen here so we go in and in boom closer on up there we go that's one trap, so we're gonna put that to the side. Next one, we got some Vienna sausage. And we're just gonna chuck in these weenies. We're gonna see. We lost one there, so. Yep. Gone forever. Tie this one in. There we go. All right, and then this one is gonna be the mix of both the weenies and the bread. It's actually easier if you keep the food down and then you just install the, uh, the one on top so you don't lose any of the food. So you food. hook. Boom. Third rope is right here. She all hooked up, so now let's go. Now let's go set them out. Follow me, Mike, come on. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so we got a bunch of rocks here. Crayfish love rocks, a little quick tip for you. So, I mean, we're not exclusively going for crayfish, but as you can see right in there, so we're gonna toss her on down. See how it, the bread is sinking? Because we did the little ball. Oh yeah, it's in the water. We're in probably three, four feet of water there. Now we're just gonna tie her on up over here. So now we're gonna go on the left side of the dock with just the bread because we already have bread on that side. We're gonna shoot her on out. Gavin. Right in there. And then the one of the weenies, folks, just the weenies, we're gonna throw further out in there. Now we're gonna go try to catch some trout for another video, as we said. And then if we catch the guts, we're gonna put in the fourth trap, and you guys are gonna have to stay tuned. What we get, we're gonna leave them for a couple hours for sure. Catch you guys soon. A few moments later. Alrighty, guys, so we just came back from a successful trout fishing in the morning. Look at what was inside one of them. Actually, one actual fish. Well, if you guys fish. could see that, all the guts. So we're gonna grab these and literally dump them inside of this bait. We're gonna see if this one's gonna hold. The other ones are still doing their job. Alrighty, so that's closed up. We're gonna tie a rope to it, send it on out. We'll see you guys in a couple hours. Alrighty guys, so we checked the trap probably about every hour or so while we were fishing or hanging around the dock, eating and whatnot. And we were blown away by how many schools of minnows there actually was. We were not expecting it and that's why as you'll see in a moment, we were shocked when we checked the traps. But from the minnows to the perch, the sunfish, there was even German catfish. It was cool to see from an above bird's eye view how they were reacting to the trap itself. We actually did see a bunch of fish in the traps and we noticed every time we checked it every hour or so, like I said, there was actually different amounts of fish in them from higher and then it got to lower as you guys are going to see very, very shortly. Much, much later. All right, guys, it's a couple hours now. It's almost six o'clock. Been, uh, I don't know, eight hours, six hours. We've been seeing minnows like crazy. We probably have some footage from when we were on the dock when we came back from trout fishing. But let's see what we have. I'm just going to pull up random ones here. Obviously, if we leave it overnight, I feel like the crayfish would hit more. But this is just the weenies. Do we have anything on the weenies? <laughs> Skunk. So weenies, that's a big fat goose egg. So we far. even added some extra netting. I don't know if you saw that inside to make the hole a bit smaller. Just so then hopefully if they do go in, they can't get out. So we'll see. I mean, it's Amazon. We uh, can't control the holes, folks. We can't always control the holes. <gasps> that's what she said. All right, next one should be just the bread. I believe this one. Oh, I oh, see. This one oh. we got some. Oh. 
All right, here we go. This All we right. got definitely some oh, some cool and some nice shiners. Looking. That is pretty sick. Oh baby, different species, micro species. Oh man, look, look how, how small. small. My dad ordered. That's that's <laughs> I've never seen one that small. Look at that. Come you put want? it in my hand. Oh, um, Brianna wants to hold it. You want to breathe? It's cute. Holy smokes! Look at that little guy. That's pretty sick. Little bluegill. We're gonna release him. Yeah, Gone we're forever. Gonna this him. is a cool. I don't know if this is a sucker or a shiner. What this guy Holy is? Holy smokes! Man. Imagine Look putting that. this on your bait. Man, no repeller could beat that. <laughs> Holy smokes! Look at those wow. colors. I don't even know what fish this is. If you guys know down below, gone forever. No, it's still there. That is a gold. We've never caught a fish like this. I feel like for walleye, this would be insane. And then we got on this side. Oh, oh. we got some more of them. Can that same I type have of fish, it? eh? You want one? And it's not even the ones that we're catching off the dock. You got it? Don't be scared, Bree. Grab him. He's he, put Grab him in your hold hands. Him, hold him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one's a bit more silver. <laughs> Out there, Snooge. Probably a different species. Yeah. Look at this one, more silver. Oh Can wow, man! It? Wow, man! This would be That's guys. That's pretty cool. The if best we're bait. If allowed to fish with this, yeah, it's bait. illegal. It's illegal in Quebec to use its own bait from its own waters. It's illegal. I don't know. Who makes these rules? Not me. Because if we <laughs> could fish with that, we would catch giant lake trout, guys. All right, so that's two out of four. Before we check the one of just the guts, because that's the one I'm most curious for, let's check the one that was on this side, okay. which was, I think, just bread. Oh, Ooh, that's had nothing. And no, Mike, there was fish in there before. I even so, filmed them. So definitely, look, oh, this hole is massive. They got out, dude. There was fish in there. I'm telling you. Well, we had schools around there. And then look at this side. So yeah, if both sides like, no, were this size. Now turn it again. If, if both sides were that size, but look at that hole in this one. Let me see just on an angle. Just to show you guys. Look how big that hole. They, oh, they, they got out of there. get out of that. But why wouldn't both holes be that size? I don't know. Somebody, For bigger fit? I don't know. Somebody understand. wasn't wearing their glasses when they did it in production or something. That doesn't make sense. Dude, I promise you there was fish in there. So guys, I guess check. <laughs> Try to make sure both of your size holes are this size. Because I feel like if it's this size, they're not coming out. That's Unless you're guess. only going for crayfish, but, I okay, guess. Okay, so that's a goose egg, so we'll remove that bait. But finally, let's check over here. Let's check the last one. What we pulling got? pulling it up. What do we got? We got, we got the dead shiner, the dead one from the trout. <gasps> oh, we got a crayfish. We have a... Oh, oh. Pull up, pull up. but this is a different trap, right? This one has the boat go close side. Oh man, he's trying to climb out of there, guys. But was this big holes? No, Ooh. see, this side has two small holes. Yeah, that's right. That's I said one before. small hole. That's one small hole. I guess we definitely didn't leave him out enough time. I don't want to hold it. Oh. What do you mean you don't want to hold him? Look at that. That is sick. Oh yeah, he's trying to get you right now. Let's see if he's going to grab the cam. Oh, he's super soft. He's like molting. His shell I is actually molting. Perfect. This is what we were after. No fish in there. Dude, do, do, how? You know how many swarms of fish I saw around them? Where's all the, where's the catfish? In this yeah, stuff? yeah, they're all gone. Who's catfish? They all got out. Well, guys, we actually saw all kinds of, I don't know if we got it on film, but we so saw through the water that there I was see loaded. There was a catfish in there. Yeah, there was all the, the those German catfish. Mike, your pool is going crazy. Oh, 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 here, here, here. Hold on. Alrighty guys, so I mean that uh, you guys saw the Amazon traps. I mean, they, technically they do work, but they not work. the best. Just watch out if you do have the big hole that almost <laughs> your fist could fit. Honestly, yeah, I check your traps often because we had a bunch of minnows. I thought we were pulling out like honestly 20, 30. We saw them inside. I they, even saw some good size like a catfish. catfish those German catfish. Stuff. Yeah. I don't understand. We go to check in. There's like two or three fish. It makes no sense. If you're gonna if you're gonna use these, they are pretty easy to use. So we'll easy. give it to that for Amazon. Free build traps. I mean, they do work. Uh, if you guys want to see more trapping videos maybe some crawfish we can we'll go try to find places yeah we'll crawfish. behind this house leave it overnight see if overnight maybe you catch more and then we could try to do some sort of crawfish catch clean cook so if you guys want to see that let us know down below hopefully this helped you guys um just make sure the holes are small that's yeah. all we can say definitely we did lose a 90 percent probably of our catch so yeah anyways guys careful. thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and we will catch you guys in the next one yeah don't forget to smash the subscribe button see you next week